All right, we are just learning molarity and going over the first five practice problems. So first of all, let's review what molarity even means. It means the same thing as the concentration of a solution. And so if I draw two pictures here, they both have, let's say, one liter of solution. Which one, picture A or picture B, is more concentrated? The answer is picture B because there is more solute in the one liter of solvent, which is typically water. Okay, there's more particles in there. So for question number one, it says, which of these two solutions is more concentrated? If you have two moles in eight liters, which would be 0.25 moles per liter for the concentration, or six moles in four liters, that would be 1.5. So the answer is the second solution is more concentrated and it's because there are more moles of solute per liter of solu solvent, which is a solution. Number two, what is the concentration when 3.5 moles of sodium chloride are dissolved in water to total a volume of five liters. So molarity is moles divided by liters, 3.5 moles divided by five liters. Punch that in your calculator, it comes out to be a concentration of 0.7 molar sodium chloride. Number three. Normal blood sugar concentrations are about 0 0.0056 moles per liter. If you measure a sample of blood and it's found to have 30 grams of C6H12O6 in every 800 milliliters of blood, is this person above or below normal sugar levels? Well, first thing, since we're given grams, we've got to get this into moles because we're always talking moles per liter. So I've got to add up six carbons, 12 hydrogens, and the molar mass of six oxygens to find out the molar mass of C6H12O6. And I added it up to be 180.18 grams for every one mole. So we only have 30 grams here. So we have less than a mole, a fraction of a mole. This comes out to be 0.17 moles. Now it says it's for every 800 milliliters of blood. I've got to divide by 1,000 to get milliliters into liters. That comes out to be 0.8 liters. So divide by 0.8 liters, and that is a molarity of 0.21 molar blood sugar. That is way above. This problem is absurd. Okay, I don't even know if this is possible, but if normal is 0 0.0056, 0 0.21 is many, many times that. That person needs some insulin. 4A, how many moles does 25 milliliters of a 0.2 molar solution contain? Well, again, let's get milliliters into liters. So divide by 1,000 that comes out to be 0 0.025 liters. So I'm gonna take 0 0.025 liters, that's how much I have, and I know I've got a 0.2 moles per liter solution, because that's what that capital M stands for. So if I do liters times the molarity, I'm gonna have units left over of moles, which is good, because I'm gonna figure out how many moles were in there. This comes out to be 0 0.005, moles of sucrose. Part B. How many grams of sucrose would be in that solution? If there are 0 0.005 moles of C12 H22 O11, then I need to multiply by the molar mass and add up 12 carbons, 22 hydrogens, 11 oxygens. That adds up to be 342 0.34 grams 
multiply across the top and it comes out to be 1.71 grams of sucrose. All right, and the last one. Going on to the next page here for me. Blood alcohol content is usually measured as a mass per volume. For example, the legal driving limit of 0 0.08 means 0 0.08 grams of ethanol for every 100 milliliters of blood. Convert this to moles per liter. So we've got 0 0.08 grams of C2H5OH. Let's figure out how many moles that is. So one mole of C2H5OH, if I add up the molar mass, it adds to 46.08 grams. 0.08 times 1 divided by 46.08, 0 0.0017 moles. And divide 100 milliliters by 1,000, that's 0.1 liters. So divide by 0.1 liters, we're talking a concentration of alcohol in the blood of 0 0.017 molar. Now for the back side, you're on your own and the back side is graded for accuracy. The problems look like they're very similar to the problems we've been doing on the front. So just be careful with um, writing out your, what is it, the formula in number 10. Oh good, it gives it to you. The numbers are all at the bottom of the page so you can check to make sure that you're getting those correct. Alright, good luck.